Hello, and today is an introduction into the new video series I have leveled from me into SME, Surface Mount Electronics. I'm currently and painstakingly converting the old Dick Smith Electronics projects from the Funway Volume 2 and 3 series into Surface Mount Electronic projects. As with the Funway's original goal is to teach electronic basics, but also the purpose of these projects is they start to form building blocks for the other projects as the series progresses. I've had to make a number of changes to the projects due to some components no longer being manufactured, but utilizing the earlier projects as a building block to form this other project, building on principles learned in the earlier project. Due to the modernization of these projects, I have had to also build my own projects to form these blocks as the components used in the original final projects are unable to be sourced easily, and if they are able to be sourced, they have to be purchased from a local Australian retailer and not an electronics wholesaler. So therefore, I have had to make changes to remove the use of these components, because if, the, if these kits are sold elsewhere other than Australia, those components won't be readily available to people in, say, the US or UK. In the original Funway series, the 9 volt battery was a common power source. For me and my modernized ver versions, I have decided to go with 3 volt coin cell batteries as it provides the same amount of energy as the odd 9 volt, but is far more compact. And the holder is generally solid to the opposite side of the board, which keeps the space taken up to be minimal. The one of the benefits of these 3 volt batteries, they are lithium based, so they have roughly the same amount of um, current or milliamp hours that the 9 volt batteries have, and they are in a nice compact click-in holder. Also, with modernizing the designs, there will also be an emphasis towards the use of 3D printing as 3D printers have now become quite common in Australian homes and in the homes of electronic enthusiasts. Uh, generally speaking, back in the day, you would normally buy a Jiffy box. This Jiffy box would be um, designed around to take the board of a specific size and a specific layout and allow for it to be mounted into that and you just have to drill a few holes in some metal plates. But nowadays, due to the advent of 3D printing, you can custom print a front panel and that can be then go on to any standard Jiffy boxes available. Generally speaking, these will be based around common Jiffy boxes we can get from either Altronix or JCAR here in, South, here in Australia. The first of these projects that have been modernized is the LED flasher and the ding dong doorbell. These projects have been modified with soft off and on connections to the battery to remove the need for external power sources, as one of the main things with today's electronics is power efficiency. Back in the day, normally you would use either a plug pack or some means of a power source because with, with the Dignor doorbell, when it was actually active, it drew a fair amount of energy and would eventually drain the battery. So with the LED flash, it's a soft on off, so you can press a button that turns it on, press a button that turns itself off, with the Ding Dong doorbell, it has a power saving connection circuit that the moment you press the, the button to ring the bell, it will, it will connect power and ring the bell. That power will be there for so many minutes and then the circuit will disconnect the power and consequently save the use of the batteries. So that's where I've modernized. Now those two circuits, the soft on off and the power saving circuit, are one of those blocks that I'm referring to that will be prevalent in the projects as they start to progress and you learn. So join me as I go about teaching electronics the fun way and learning does not need to be boring, it can actually be quite fun. As a final note, the projects are being sponsored by PCBWay. They are providing me with um, the boards to produce the videos, so I've got the first two of the projects um, in the post, which is the LED flasher and the ding dong doorbell. These projects will be released um, once every two weeks, so that people can watch the video, purchase their own project, and build it themselves. So I'd like to thank the good folks at PCBWay for providing this um, help to my channel, and basically, the projects as they are um, completed and given the thumbs up to be okay, they will be available for purchase from PCBWay's Shed Projects page. I'll put a link in the video description of the first project as to where it can be purchased.